Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll go with the font property in CSS. So coming to the font property, there are different uh, properties for this font. So we can apply the font style, font weight, font size, font family. Okay, so all these things we can apply the apply on the particular font. Coming to the font style, this font style is having two values, sorry, three values. So those are, first one is a normal, normal, by default it will be a normal. And the second one is italic, so we can apply the italic style for the font. Okay, and the third one is a oblique, so which is similar to this italic. It's a little bit change will be there, but almost similar to the italic font. And coming to the font weight, again it is having a two values. One is a normal, one is a normal, and the second one is a bold. So we can apply the bold type of font. Okay, we can apply the bold type of font. And the font size, this can be mentioned in terms of pixels. Okay, or EM, pixels or EM. So we have to give some pixels, like 20 pixels or 30 pixels or 50 pixels, like that we have to mention in terms of pixels. And coming to the font family, there are a lot of font families, like Times New Roman. So which style we have to apply for displaying that particular font. Okay, so we can give a number of uh, font families. Okay, here we can give a number of font family names. Okay, we have to give uh, by differentiating with the comma. Okay, and see, for example, font family, I just want to give some Arial. Arial is one font family, comma, courier, comma, serif, comma, sans serif. Okay, all these are the font families. All these are the font families. We can give a multiple names for this font family because if the browser doesn't support the first one, if the browser doesn't support the font of first mentioned font family, it will uh, it will move with the second one. If the browser sub doesn't support the second one also, it will move with the third one. So like this, it will apply the multiple font families. Okay, so. Uh, Finally, it, only one font family will be applied. Only one name will be applied for that font. Okay, but depends upon the browser support or browser, browser compatibility, it will consider one among these things. Okay, and one more thing to, to, uh, to be followed is if our font name, okay, if our font name consists of multiple words with a sp space separated, then such type of words should be given in double quotes so if we here you can observe this is a single word no problem this is also a single word no problem this is single word no problem and here we are differentiating with a hyphen so no problem and there is a one more uh, font name that is a times new roman times new roman so this is a single name this is a single name but we are having the three words separated with a comma so such a type of words such a type of names we have to give enclosed in double quotes okay we have to enclose in double quotes so the, in this way we can apply the font property so we can give the font style font weight font size font family as well as and we can apply all these things in a shorthand property in a shorthand property so for for example go with this one so font style italic okay colon font weight bold colon font size 30 pixel colon font family area okay and close this one let us take some paragraph tag so like this we have to apply in the CSS, like this we have to apply in the CSS. 
So instead of using all these things in a multiple lines, we can go with the single line that is a shorthand property by using a simple font. Okay, so P, go with the font, colon, follow the same order. First, you have to give the style. So italic, space, space, weight, so bold, space, some 30 pixel, space. You can give all these things. Arial, comma, serif, comma, courier. Okay, so like this we can give. So only in, in terms of font family, we can give a multiple names with a comma separated, comma separated. Okay, so depends upon the browser compatibility, it will apply one font name. It will follow the order. It will follow the order. First, we have given some Arial. So first, it will search for the Arial. And if that Arial is not supported by the browser, then it will move with the second one that is Serif. If it is not uh, compatible, then it will move with the third one. Right. And if it is compatible, automatically all the font will be applied with the Arial font name. Okay. See, so this is the way we can apply the styles for the font. Okay. So I will execute each and every uh property in the system right so we'll execute the html file we'll write some html code simple html code demonstrating each and every property of the font let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen the font property in css the syntax and now we'll see the implementation part of this thing so first let us uh, create some html code so I will start with the HTML tag and then I will go with the head and inside the head I will go with the style tag. So inside the style I have to give the font, okay, the CSS. So I will give it the paragraph tag. So in the paragraph tag I will create some font family, font family. And I have to give the values so I can give a lot of values so separated comma separated values so that it will take so if uh, the browser doesn't support the first first font style a uh, first font family it will automatically go to the next and and if the second font family is also not supported by the browser it will go to the third so this is called a fallback okay fallback so I have to give the multiple or a single no problem and I will give some so use a comma separated so these are the different fonts okay different fonts and if our font contains a multiple words then we have to enclose it in double quotations like times new roman if you go with the times new roman it is a three letter word right so this should be enclosed in double quotations this should be enclosed in double quotations right if it is a single word no no problem if it is a multiple words, then we have to enclose in uh, double quotations, right? I am closing the head and I am closing the, uh, I'm starting the body and inside the body, let us take some paragraph and write down. So, example for CSS fonts, okay, and close the body. HTML and save this one. So I will save with the font dot HTML. So automatically you can double click on the browser. See example for CSS font. <coughs> so by default it will be taking as a the first one. Okay, not the default. So it will be considering as a first font. If the first font if the first font serif is not supported then automatically it will go with the sans serif if the sans serif is also not supported by the browser it will move with the times new roman okay see i will go with the arial you can observe see the font has been changed to arial right the font has been changed to arial and i will go with the courier see Again, the font will be changing. This font has been changed, right? So this is how we can give a multiple values for the font family so that it will work in a fallback system.
okay and the second parameter the second property in the font is font style font style so font style is having the three values one is a normal by default it will be a normal and if you want to apply the italic go with the italic see there is some italic okay there is this italic font this is a italic font so you can observe normal see it's a normal text okay and if it is an italic you can observe the difference i think okay so this is a italic and the third one is a oblique so this is also similar to our italic but a little bit different oblique a little bit different okay so it's also similar to our italic font italic font and coming to the next property in the font that is a font weight font weight so here also it will take the two values one is a normal by default it is a normal otherwise it will go with the bold see bold bold font so let us take with the arial font then it will be easy to understand okay so this is a bold and by default if you are not giving any value it will be considered as a normal a normal font so you can see this is a normal font this is a bold okay and then we can also give the font size font size we can specify the font size so go with the pixels some 20 pixels and you can execute you will get the 20 pixels or you can go with the 40 pixels you go to 40 pixels okay so hope you understood this one so font family okay font family so let us take here i will create one class so p class is equal to one okay so here i will go with the dot one see so i'm taking only one uh one this one one font and i am copying this to another font another another css that is let us take two two and i will go here with the another font family so let us take times new roman times new roman this is very important because uh, if our font family is having a multiple words so space separated words and then that that type of font family should be enclosed in double quotations and font style i will go with the normal and this is also a normal okay and uh, i will i will write one more paragraph with the class name 2 class name 2 so example for css fonts normal 40 pixels okay and this is the this one is a bold with 40 pixels okay and you can observe here see you can observe this is a bold with 40 pixel this is a normal with 40 pixels this is a italic okay this is also a italic or oblique bold and oblique you can write it here bold and oblique okay it's clear i think right so we can apply a multiple uh, multiple font families in a single line with a space separate, comma separated so that if one font is not uh, supported by the browser it will move with the second one so this is how we can implement and there is one more thing that is a shorthand that means instead of writing all these things in a multiple lines we can go with the shorthand see dot short so i will create one more class okay i will create one more class so go with the font uh, property font so follow the order font style first we have to give the font style i will give the bold bold space font weight we have to give the weight sorry sorry uh, fonts 
स्टाइल आई विल गो विद इटैलिक ओके इटैलिक नेक्स्ट वन इज अ बोल्ड फॉन्ट वेट एंड द फॉन्ट साइज सम थर्टी पिक्सल एंड अ फॉन्ट फैमिली फाइनली द फॉन्ट फैमिली ओके फाइनली फॉन्ट फैमिली एरियल इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर and you can create a one more paragraph with the class short one more paragraph with the class short example of css fonts so you can observe here it's a short hand short hand property okay see if, if you execute this one we'll get a one more let's this is a short hand property so it's a italic you can observe here it's an italic bold and <clears throat> 30 pixels and the arial font 30 pixels and arial font so this is how we can apply the font font property right so font family font style font weight font size so hope you understood this one so uh, let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this fonts feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much